Welcome to MacroCode. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. So today we are going to do a styling of our app. So if you are new to this channel, we are actually doing a series of .NET MAUI. So you can see we have an employees app. We had created a countries uh, list. So you are able to add our countries, you are able to add our constituencies and actually tie them to uh, countries. As you can see, we have a picker then the constituency code and the location name. So on our previous video, we did a cascading drop-down list on our employees app. So you are able to add a new employee, select the country, then the country is tied to constituencies that we had created, then uh, the constituencies are actually tied to the location. So consider watching previous videos so that you are able to understand what we were doing. So today, we are going to add a styling on our app. So we are going to add an header here on our navigation pen so that we have a logo under the name of the app. So currently we can see the, the navigation starts with the employee list, countries list, constituencies, locations, sublocations, and villages. So we are going to add a logo and a description at the top here. The, 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 not the description, but the name of the, of the app. So to begin with, we are going to start with navigating to our app shell. So come to app shell. So then you'll be able to see this. So this is our uh, flyout item, employees list. Then we have the countries list, uh, constituency list, uh, locations list, sublocations list, and the villages. So at the top, just after the flyout item, we are going to now define our uh, shell dot uh, flyout, flyout header. So this should be flyout header template then do that, then close. So after you have closed, we are going to define now the data template inside here. So let me stop the app. So here we'll do data template, then that is it. So I'll zoom my app so that you're able to see. Then inside the data template, I'm going to define a grid. So I'll do a grid, then a close. So inside the grid, I'm going to define something, the grid name. I'll just do uh, the name, then I can say header, so this is the header, that is the name of our grid. The next thing is to define the margin, so I'll say zero. The next thing is the padding, so that is uh, 20. Then the next thing is the background color. So background color, I'm going to use a white, so I'll say static resource then white. So remember when you are defining the color, you don't have to define or add code the colors here. But based on our previous videos, the colors you should actually, when you come to resources folder, uh, styles, then colors, you should be able to define all your colors here. So these are how the, our colors looks like. So you should be able to define them there. So if you come to Upshell, you'll just be referencing the colors. So that is it. So the next thing now inside the grid is to define the grid row definitions. So I'll say row definitions. I want to have uh, two rows for the logo and the, so I'll say definition, then height. I'll put this as 100, then close it. Another row definition, then I'll say height, then I'll put that, then that is it. So this is our row definition. So after the row definitions, we are done. So what we need to do is I'll put in the image of our app, so that is the logo. So I'll say the name, I'll say this is the logo of my app. Mm -hmm. Then the next thing is the uh, define the grid row. So the row should be zero. The next thing, sorry, that the next thing is define the margin, so which is zero. Uh, then I'll define the source of our app. So I'm going to use the logo. So I'm going to use the .NET bot SVG file, but you can actually copy your logo and paste it under images. So my source will be this, then uh, SVG. Uh, then I'll actually close my, my image. So after the image, I can now put in the label. So I'll say label, then the name of my label. I'll call it app name. Then the next thing is to define the grid row, which is one. Then I'll say the margin, which is zero. Then the font attributes, I'll run this to be uh, bold. 
then I can define also the font size. I will want this to be 20. Then I can also define the horizontal text alignment. I want this to be at the center. Then the vertical text alignment. I want this to be at the end. Then I also want the, now to define the text. So I can call this macro code up. Uh, and call macro code uh, up. So I can just call that up. Then I can also define the text color. So the color, remember, we are doing this uh, static resource. Then I can have navigation bar. So that is a green color that we had defined previously on a previous video. Then I think that is it. So I'll close my label. So if we just launch our app, we should be able to have the logo and the label on our navigation bar. So if I launch my app, let's see how it will look like. So this is how our code uh, looks. So for those who, so down here we have our flyout items. So this is the, so this is how it looks. So let me just zoom so that you're able to see. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and watching our previous videos. So let's see our app, how it looks like. So our app is launching. So let's wait and see how it looks like. So if we come to our employees navigation list, so you can see we have our logo and macro code app. Then we have our employee list, countries list, uh, constituencies list, locations list, uh, sub-locations, and even the villages. So uh, that is it, guys, for today. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and see you on our next video where we'll be doing uh, editing, updating, and deleting our uh, data in .NET MAUI. See you on our next series. Bye.